Ginaji. That was 1991 of June. I was 28 years old. I was horrified because it was very chaotic, especially when, uh, when Lahar was mixed with rain. Lahar gets so heavy and uh, a lot of houses got collapsed because of the, the weight of the Lahar and the rain. I was with my three children and uh, we live in a small uh, bungalow with my mother, my father, my husband, and then my three children, my, my little sister. I saw a lot of uh, houses collapse and people were, were uh, they were in chaos. I can see people going back and forth in different direction. And then um, I remember that there was a big truck where people tried to climb up the truck to evacuate. I asked somebody, I said, where are you going? And they said, we need to get out of here. I remember there was a mother, she tossed her maybe a less than one year old baby to somebody in the truck and then she said, uh, I will see you later. My husband, myself, and my three children, we packed our stuff and uh, I, I was so devastated and so sad that I have to leave my, my mother, my father, and my little sister behind. So I thought that was temporary and uh, we will be back when everything will uh, calm down. But we were brought to the base and we were in one of those big ships and then we were brought to, to Guam. And then from Guam, we were transported to Washington, D.C. It was hard because I, I carried three children. My oldest was six years old, my second child was three years old and my third child was six months old. I am happy that I'm in United States finally, but uh, it was a sad departure. Hello, gang. Oh, kumusta na? Kumusta? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm proud to be a U.S. citizen, but in, deep in my heart, I'm still Filipino. And uh, that, that memory about Mount Penatobo was an experience to cherish all my life. And I'm glad that I experienced that because I have something to share with my children and then my children share them to their children in the future. Oh, good. You edit that, okay? <laughs> <laughs>